Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to show you a video of me setting up um, my planner. So right now I'm in this student classic planner, happy planner. This is the layout. I am not loving this right now, if I'm being honest with you. I just don't love it. Um, I haven't really been using it at all, so I'm just going to quickly show you what my planner looks like right now. And then I'm going to show you all the stuff that I'm going to be doing to revamp it. So let's get into it. So this is my planner right now. It's, like I said earlier, the Stay Wild Student Planner. These are the discs. I use the gold expander ones. I do Franken plan, so I'm going to kind of talk through what I have in here. So I was Franken planning and putting in, like, the amount of months for my catch-all um, of, like, the school year. So right now I have, like, August through December, which would be my fall semester, but I'm not loving having all this in here, and then it goes into my budget planner, <coughs> which I have all the months, but I'm also not loving this. It's just getting too bulky, and then I go into my wedding planner, so I don't like this. I'm not loving it. Time to change it. So in my latest Joanne's haul, I showed you guys that I got these medium discs, like I was saying, I showed you guys that I got these medium discs. So I think what I'm going to do is alternate between the yellow and this pink color for the rings because I really want to downsize this planner. So I'm just going to open this up. It's probably going to go flying everywhere. Or maybe not. So I'm going to be using um, this cover and the back cover. Just taking it off for right now. And let's get started with the disc. Or do I want to do this blue and pink? Or do I want to do blue, pink, and yellow? Okay, let's see. So I'm going to put these on the discs. Do I want to do blue, pink, and yellow? Then what I want to put on these discs are only one month of um, months. So I'm going to rip out August and this booklet right here. I'm just going to put August of my catch-all student planner. So this is like the stuff that you see on my Instagram pages. These are the spreads. So basically everything goes in here. And then when I start school, my assignments and stuff go onto these pages. So I'm just going to put this in here. Oh my gosh. This is my memory planner, well, like, month memory planner. So, I don't memory plan, but I showed you guys on my Instagram um, for July that I took the monthly spread because I don't use this, and I uh, just wrote each day. I'd take a sticker that I had to do with that day, and then I'd write down something about it, or I'd just do a quote over there. But I've been keeping up with that through August. So, now I'm just going to take these bookmarks and open these up. This was also something that I had in my Joanne's haul. And then I have this bookmark, which was from a student accessory book. And then in... So I kind of want to show you all what I want to put in here. So I want to put these in here. These are, um, like, student dashboards. I want to put some of these, um day planning, like daily planning sheets, some take note sheets, um, one month of my budget planner, and then um, the checklist for my wedding planner. So I'm going to put this on my current like page. So right here, I'm going to put this in here. Just to mark where I am.
So right now, in one of my happy notes, I have this post-it note thing. <clears throat> and this folder. I'm just kind of holding all this stuff in here. But I'm going to take that all out of my happy notes. And start putting it in here. So I think when I first open the planner, I want to see this folder. That has this sheet of stickers. And then I also want to put this post-it note thing right here. I'm going to open this up. So these are what they look like. This one says remember. And it just has like announcements, homeworks. You can write the assignment, the date it's due, any tests and exams, like what the test is, the date it's due. You have a little note section down here. Then you have noted over there. Then this just says plans. So you have today, tomorrow, this week. And then on the back, you have meetings and appointments to copy, to contact, looking forward. And then you can just write the week of. So, um, yeah, I don't know where my dry erase marker is. Oh, here we go. So at Walmart, I picked up these um, pen and gear fine tip dry erase markers. So I'm just going to be putting this, I think, right here. Or do I want to put this in the back? Yeah, I think I might put this right here. These are hard to get in. Oh my gosh. Okay. And I think this is just going to help me stay super organized with all of my stuff that I have going on. Because I am taking all my college courses online this semester and next semester. So I definitely need to stay organized since I won't be actually sitting in a class. So I think this is just gonna help me with that. So there we go. So I have post-it notes, the folder, months, and then it goes into these remember plans. Then I want to do a bookmark. I think I'm going to go in with this one that just says think, reflect, discover, create, and grow. So I'm just going to bookmark this. These are also hard to do. Actually, I think I might move these to the front of the planner. And then back to that bookmark right here. I think I'm going to go in and put these daily sheets. So just put some of those daily sheets there. And then I also think I'm going to put some note sheets. I'm just looking at these bookmarks. I don't know if I want to like divide this up, but I don't think I'm going to. So I'm just going to put some of these note sheets in here. It just says take notes. So I'm just going to take a couple of those and then put those on the rings as well. I love these daily sheets. I use them mostly when I'm like at school if I have like a really busy day where I have like a bunch of assignments to do but like when I was in school like went to school in person I had like you know track practice and I had meetings and stuff that I had to go to so I just use this some mornings I'd have to wake up you know super early and be to lifting by 6 a.m so I'd start my day way before 6 a.m so I'd write lifting and then I'd write okay I want to get like breakfast between this time and then I have class at this time so I just use this when I have really busy days and it honestly helps me get so much done and then this, I'm just going to use these pages if I have, like, stuff that doesn't need to be, like, actual, like, just 
thoughts or whatever. So I think I'm going to use one of these sheets to write down like video ideas and post ideas or stuff like that. Stuff that doesn't need to be put in my happy notes because I use my happy notes um, for school. So I think I'm just going to put a little more in here. And then I'm going to take another one of these. So I think I'm going to take this book one. I'm just going to put it in here. And then the next section in this planner is going to be my, my budget section. <laughs> so I'm just going to put um, some of my stickers in here. So these are just budget stickers that come with the budget, like, undated extension pack. Um, I think I'm actually going to put this here first. This is cover page that says budget planner. And then go into my saving sheet. Then into my stickers. Oops. So I'm going to kind of just look at this off camera because I don't know if there's anything, like, personal <clears throat> on these pages. And then I'm gonna put my August in there. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do this off camera, this budget part, and then come back on here. Come back. I just did that part off camera because there's a lot of like numbers and stuff that's kind of um, personal, so I just didn't want to do that on camera. So I got my budget section in here. I also put this little folder in here just to kind of hold the receipts and stuff. So now in my next section, I'm going to put this um, bookmark down that just says dream big. I'm just gonna put that down here. And then this section, so I have the wedding planner, but it was like before the like legit wedding planner came out. So this is just like a wedding planner extension pack. So I think what I'm going to do is just take this Our Wedding page and put it in here. I don't want like the whole entire um, wedding planner in here just because a lot of it I don't honestly use. I think like the stuff that I use the most is this checklist. So I'm just going to rip the whole entire checklist out of these rings and then I'll probably just put the rest of this wedding planner on um, other rings and kind of just set it to the side but here's the rest okay so that is my planner it is super thin now so these are the discs i just have the blue pink yellow on the side and then when you open it up, I have these post-it notes right here that came with the student accessory pack. I have this um, folder with the stickers that came in the student accessory pack also. Then I have these sheets, dashboards that just say announcements and stuff. So I can just write everything down and be super organized. And I really want this to be in the front of my planner. Just so when I open this, I can just see at a glance what I have going on. Then we go into the current month, so we have August, and that's where I am. And then the next section is just these daily sheets, my note sheets, and then we have another bookmark that goes into my budget planner, and then the next bookmark is my wedding planner with the checklists that I love. So. That is my planner. That is what I'm going to see if it works out for me. I am super excited to be using this and to just try this out. I think this will work so much better for me. This is so much lighter and so much easier to carry around. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss another one of my videos. Thank you guys and see you again next time.